Hi everyone, so today I'm gonna go through my July and August recommendations and all of the makeup purchases during those two months. I also have a little bit of skincare and one hair product. So if you like this type of videos and you enjoy my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe down below. It would mean so much to me and let's get started. These are products that I recommend and products that I've, so some of them I've tried out and I recommend or I have different thoughts on them and some of them I didn't get a chance to get to them yet because I just purchased them in the month of August and I'm waiting to do kind of a video of trying on new makeup. Okay, so July 16th, I have purchased the Natasha Denona Duochrome Top Coat in Brown Mauve Purple. This retails for $18.50, original price $37 from the Sephora website. This is an interesting product. I'm gonna tell you right now, I would not pay $37 for this. For $18, it's worth it, it's Natasha Denona. You know, I'm happy I have it, but $37, I would not purchase this. This is a uh, cute shimmer product. And you can use this as a top coat on top of your current eyeshadow. How I like to use this, I can use it on top of any type of eyeshadow I'm wearing, but it's also nice to use on its own for a quick, glam soft look with just some mascara so it's beautiful in that way and it's also duochrome i love how it changes from purple to that bronzy shade because it's not pigmented to my liking i wouldn't spend 37 dollars now these are all prices in canadian next product on july 15th i went to the elf website because this product was not yet in stores and i've purchased the elf halo glow liquid filter Ooh, this 110 percent i recommend now this retails for 18 dollars. i am loving it here's the doe food applicator is huge this product is so so beautiful it's so glowy, it's so hydrating. It provides a little bit more coverage than Charlotte Tilbury, and you can use this on its own or under foundation, or you can use it as a highlighter. As you all know, I have a review on my channel on this product, and 110% I recommend it. You cannot go wrong buying this. Mine is in the shade One Fair, so you can see it's a little bit dark, but keep in mind that once you blend it, I'm pretty fair, it's going to look beautiful okay moving on to july 15th again i have bought the elf luminous putty blush in the shade barbados this retails for nine dollars and again from the elf website keep in mind that the product name is very small written right here on the actual component and this blush is one of their new blushes which is a more of a luminous blush it's such a pretty shade the shade is just gorgeous it has that nice burnt brick color and i love that on the cheek i have been wearing this and it looks stunning it lasts all day it doesn't fade and it's just beautiful it reminds me of the tower 28 blushes so this definitely i recommend and i have the other blushes before the luminous blushes and i love those blushes as much as I love this one so it's a very good product for the price you pay now on July 19th from Sephora I have purchased a hair product and my hair is usually frizzy and has a little bit of curl this is not my natural curl I actually used a hair straightener to curl it and I have purchased this Oribe curl gelé I think that's how you say it this is a shine and definition for your curls this retails for $55 at Sephora it's quite expensive it's has a very beautiful smell and it's this this jelly type of product so it basically it defines your curls and it adds shine uh, i haven't used it much i don't know if it's worth 55 dollars but because i haven't used it much i don't have an impression on it yet i usually 
I could use it when I don't blow dry my hair and I let my hair air dry and leave my natural curly hair shine through. I, I don't know. I, I don't know yet what to think about this product. 55 is a lot of money, but you do get a lot of product in here. 250 milliliters, which is 8.5 fluid ounces. So it's quite a bit of product here. So this is still testing it out. Not sure if it's worth it, but in case you're wondering, yeah, this is the product I purchased for my hair. In August, I have purchased the Face Halo. This is 30 US dollars. It's already open because I'm using one and I bought this from the Halo website. Now, this is magic. Have you guys heard of this Face Halo? I've just heard of it, I've bought it, and I am loving it. So what is Face Halo? It's basically one of this, let me open it, one of this pads, okay? So it has this fluffy fur that reminds me of sheep, sheep type of fur. It's so cute or like a little lamb and very soft. Now this one, all you have to do is just add water. So this instructions say the water loosens your makeup, allowing face halo to reach deep into your pores to remove and trap makeup. And this works wonderful. It's just, I've never seen anything like this before. So all I do is I add water to this, I squish the water out and then this type of makeup that I'm wearing right now, I could just use this pad and remove my whole makeup. Everything goes on this pad. I don't need to use any type of cleansing products with this, just water. Now, it's very difficult. I mean, I can clean underneath the eye if I do have like a dark eyeliner underneath here. I have to go and make it turn into a taco like this and kind of scrub underneath with just water and it removes it. I like to double clean. So after I use this, I just go ahead with my regular cleanser and I just um, soap my face up with the cleanser and then rinse it again. But when you go traveling, this is all you need. And all you need is to add water and removes everything. Now the magic part is, beside the removing your makeup with just water, this after I use it, I make it wet and I go on top of my uh, soap like this. And then I put it under water and remove all of the dirty makeup that has transferred here and it turns white within seconds. Everything comes off within seconds. And another good part is that is when you use this and I clean my face with it, the makeup product that this that lands on this sponge does not transfer back to your face when you continue cleaning the other side of your face. So I'm just telling you, this is wash and reuse. All you need is water and it's wonderful. And you get three in one package. It looks like this. You have instructions on the back and this is what it looks in the front. And I'm loving it. You can't go wrong with this. On August 10, I have bought the, I wanted this forever. The Makeup by Mario Master Mattes Palette. This retails for $64 and it's an all matte palette and I love the formula. It's so easy to use. The colors are so neutral, so fun, great for every day, great for going out at nighttime. I love that it has a white which you can use in the inner corner to brighten up your eye. It has a black, you can use it as a smoky look or as an eyeliner. I just love this palette and I recommend this palette 110%. Also, I forgot to say I recommend this one. You need this in your life. This palette is so cute. It reminds me of a um, one of those Game Boys and I don't know. It's just fun, easy to travel, very sturdy. I feel like the product inside will not break if you travel so small, as small as my palm, and it has everything you need in one. Now, if you love shimmers, you're kind of stuck because this is just matte. You can always pack a shimmery one eyeshadow with you, but this is all you need. I love this palette. On August 12th, on August 12th, I have purchased the Benefit Brow product from this is Shoppers. Now they sell this at Sephora as well. 
for the benefit website and this was $32. Now, I love benefit products. I have like a benefit product brow gel that I got in a boxy charm and I'm loving it. Now, this is supposed to be new. It's a voluminizing pencil. So on one side, you have a spoolie. On the other, you have a wooden pencil. And I don't mind that it's a wooden pencil. It's just, I love wooden pencils. You can see, you have to push really hard to get anything out of it. It's finally, look at this. Like imagine how this feels on your eyebrows. It eventually fills in your eyebrows, but the eyebrows look very like a block. You cannot be precise with this. I don't know, for $32, I don't think it's worth it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase this for $32. It's a great concept and it's supposed to volume, it says voluminizing fiber eyebrow pencil. I, I don't know. Um, I just showed you how it looks like. This is also confusing. I don't know which goes where, like the tips. I always mess up. I don't know if the pointy one, I'm assuming goes maybe for the pencil and this for the brush. You know, it's always confusing which tip to put where, but I don't think this is worth it. It's supposed to be long lasting, but you can see I go like this and it just comes off. So this is something I would probably not repurchase and I would not recommend for the price that it costs. I don't know. i not not a big fan of it, but I do love Benefit products. I have another one that I use all the time. Okay, now here we are what I'm wearing on my eyes and you need this. This is the e.l.f. Game On palette. I bought this from Shoppers and this retails for $12.99. This palette is beautiful. Look at this. So I'm using the orange all over the eyelid. Now the orange all over the eyelid is on top of a brown eyeshadow that I had since this morning. Otherwise the orange would be much more pigmented. I also am wearing this green in the inner corner and I'm wearing this purple underneath my lash line here. This palette is beautiful, especially the shimmers. I'm not sure about the mattes. I haven't tried the mattes yet, but the shimmers are wonderful. Very creamy, very easy to use, very pigmented. There's no fallout and they have a really beautiful punch of color, all of them that I've used so far. So this palette, I definitely recommend. Okay, so moving on, on August 12th from Shoppers, I have purchased two Elf Game On gels. You probably guys saw this, so there's not much I need to say about this. This were $7.99 each. I have not try them on my eyes yet so I can't speak about the product and how much how long it lasts on the eye and how it performs but I, I don't know yet so I will keep you posted on this product but I wanted to let you know that I picked up the gel liners as well now on August 13 I have bought the makeup by Mario blush stick in the shade dusty rose this is very similar packaging to it to his bronzer with the brush on one end. Okay, and the product on the other, which is a beautiful dusty rose color. It's very pigmented. It has a nice satin finish. It's not sticky, like it doesn't have that sticky feeling. And it provides a beautiful, beautiful amount of color. Now, when you blend it, it's not as intense as the as the like Tower Twenty Eight blushes and so on. You can see it's very similar to the Merit blushes, so keep that in mind. But it's a beautiful shade, and I love this. It lasts all day on my cheek, and it fades away in a nice way. So yeah, this I recommend. Love Makeup by Mario, beautiful product. On August 13, uh, $29, I have purchased by Makeup by Mario his eyeliner. And this eyeliner is the one in the shade Plum. Now, again, this is confusing. I don't know, I guess the brush is here, yeah. So this is the pen very pigmented. I love the shade. Beautiful, beautiful shade. And you can also blend it, smudge it, and turn it into this um, plummy, plummy look. I love this. But I like to use this either in my waterline or create a nice wing. 
this crayon is you can sharpen it but keep in mind it is very soft so you don't have to push too hard it provides enough pigment and it's just beautiful and it's quite big so i definitely recommend this now i think yeah this is 29 dollars, so it's a little bit on the pricey side for an eyeliner you can get a lot from the drugstore but the formula is amazing and on the other side like i said you have a nice brush so you can define your eye and you can smudge your eyeliner Okay, on August 13, I have purchased the Ilia Liquid Powder Cream Eyeshadow in the shade Dove. This is $37. Now, I have a review on my channel. The product looks beautiful. The shade is stunning and unique. It comes with a cute tofu applicator, which looks like it's a nice see-through plastic. The color is so pretty. I don't know. I love this color. You guys can see the look I've created with this on my channel. I have reviewed this and upon application, it looked nice. I have used it with primer. I think eye, prime, eye primer and powder, I believe. And I've used two coats of this. So I'm going to give it a try and use like one coat and not use an eye primer but you can see quite patchy even on the hand it just it's more pigmented here it's a little bit gone here so i have to play with this more before i finalize my thoughts but from first impressions um this color is probably not the easiest to work with i'm not sure of the other shades maybe go in with the more nude and neutrals maybe those are not as um intense looking you cannot see the mistakes on the eyelid as much as you see them with this one so for that reason at this moment this shade the specific shade don't really recommend it looks beautiful looks pretty it takes a lot of work to kind of fix the eye but it looks more like cement on the eyelids it doesn't feel heavy or it feels like cement it just kind of looks like it's crap so i don't know for that reason i have to play with it more so at this moment i don't recommend this shade maybe go with the neutral shades Ooh, this i'm excited okay so i have not used this i've been saving this product so i can do a um, review with it as well i'm not gonna put my fingers in it yet because I still want to review it. I bought on August 14 for $50. Can you guys guess? The NARS Laguna bronzer, the cream bronzer. I don't want to touch it yet because look at this. So, so cute because I want to review it. I know this is came out a while ago. Hmm, that has an interesting smell. It came out a while ago. I um, didn't get a chance to review it yet. I just purchased it. I love cream bronzers and here it is. Let me bring it up closer. Very similar to the Say Beauty Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think I have one, but anyways, can't wait to try it. Okay, so now let's talk about August 18. August 18, I have purchased a bunch of skincare products. I already have a video on this, but I bought the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, the Ordinary Matrixil, Ordinary Buffet Copper pep Peptides product. I bought the Inky List Polyglutamic Acid and also the Ordinary Bee Oil. Now, this products retail from, I think $33 is the most expensive one, and that's the Copper Peptides, which is this one right here. But the rest are all under $18.99, $10.99, $12.60, $8. .00. Great products. I've been using them for a week. My skin looks beautiful with them. I did not break out. No skin problems at all. Okay, on August 20th, I bought another Makeup by Mario product. And this is the same gel pencil, but in the shade black. He also has a brown one and I have my eyes on it. This was again $29. So I don't want to spend $90 on three of the eyeliner. So I stopped at this one. This is the black version of the plum one that I bought. But look how easy it is to create a line. So, so beautiful. Stunning. I love this and I recommend this as I recommend the plum one. Here's another product that I have not tried yet. And I'm excited to test this out in a video. And this is the Say Skin Tint in the shade 3. This retails for $46 from the Sephora. I bought this in store. 
I cannot wait. This is a tinted moisturizer. You know what? Let's open it up. Oh, it's quite thick in consistency. I love it. Very soft, very hydrating, beautiful to the touch. I am excited already and this is not even on my face, but it feels so beautiful. It's not blotchy. It's nothing. It goes into the skin so, so nice and it's hydrating and it's glowy, provides enough coverage. I love it already. I'm so excited. So stay tuned because I will have a um, video on trying out all these new products that I'm talking into this video, which I haven't tried yet. So don't know yet. So far from what I see, I would love to say I recommend this product, but stay tuned till I try it on my face and see how it lasts through the day and how it looks on my face. And then I can give you my final thoughts. August 20th, again, I have purchased a new concealer by Too Faced. This is the Too Faced concealer in the shade Vanilla Wafer. Retails for $34. This is from in store. This is a beautiful concealer. I use this a lot. I recommend it. Very hydrating, enough coverage. It's brightening. It's not creasing in your fine lines underneath your eyes. It's just a stunning, stunning concealer. Very similar to the Huda Beauty one. Very similar to that one, which I love. And look at that, a nice glow, yet still a little bit of coverage, not too glowy, oily, just beautiful. So yeah, I'm recommending this concealer. I do have a review on this on my channel, so check that one out if you wanna see more details. And on August 27, I have bought the Charlotte Tilbury Ice to Mesmerize in the shade Chocolate Bronze. I have a video on my channel already, and this product is amazing. This is what I have underneath this orange on my eye today. I love this. This retails for $39, but a little bit goes a long way. Very pigmented, glowy. It doesn't crease. It lasts all day long. It doesn't fade away throughout the day. And the shades I recommend, of course, this one, the chocolate bronze, the one in oyster pearl, and the one in champagne. I have all three of them. A review on my channel is already up on the one in champagne and on the one in chocolate bronze. So check that one out and let me know your thoughts. And on August 27, I have purchased from Sephora in store, again, a new product. And this is the Tower 28 blush. This is a new blush by Tower 28. You guys know how much I love their blushes and I'm using them daily. And this is in the shade Office Hour, which is their new shade. So the blush is the same. However, they came out with this new shade, which is so pretty. Love the packaging. And here is the shade. It has this mauvey undertone. Love it. And this retails for $26, so you can't go wrong with it. And here's the product. Now, I'm sure you guys want me to try it, so I will do it for you guys. Ooh, this feels so nice. Very, very pretty. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Very similar to the Dusty Rose. It has a Dusty Rose. Yeah, this is in the shade Office Hour. So keep that in mind. It's a buildable, luminous color. You can use this on your cheeks or on your lips. So that's why I love this so much. There are two products in one and only for $26. Not bad, not bad. And it a little bit goes a long way. So yeah, this was my final product for August. So I'm finally caught up with this video. So stay tuned in September. I will have another video with the products I buy in September. If I have enough products to talk about, if not, I'll combine September and October if I end up buying anything. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe down below. I would love to hear your comments. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you all a wonderful day. Always remember to be yourself. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.